So what happens in cardiac tamponade? In cardiac tamponade, there is impaired filling of the chambers because fluid accumulates in the pericardial cavity. How is the ECG in cardiac tamponade? It has a low voltage ECG in limb leads. What are the other conditions that produce low voltage ECG? Three conditions that produce low voltage ECG are constrictive pericarditis, restrictive cardiomyopathy and cardiac tamponade. And what else you see in a ECG in cardiac tamponade? In a cardiac tamponade we see alternating QRSI due to a swinging heart. This is a low voltage EKG and this is the alternating QRS complexes in cardiac tamponade. So what are the clinical features of the cardiac tamponade? Muffled heart sounds, pulses, paradoxes, pericardial effusion, equal pressure in all the four chambers and low amplitude QRS complexes and electrical alternance of the QRS. So there is equal pressure in all the four chambers and low amplitude QRS complexes and electrical alternance of the QRS complexes. So what's a low voltage EKG? A low voltage EKG is when a QRS complex is less than 5 millimeters in limb leads and less than 10 millimeters in chest leads. And what are the non-cardiac causes of low voltage EKG? Obesity, COPD, severe hypothyroidism, massive myocardial infarction or damage, and infiltrative disorders. How about the X-ray chest in the cardiac tamponade? It produces increased size in the cardiac cell. This is the fluid around the heart on an X-ray chest. And what do you see in an X-ray chest in constrictive pericarditis, which has a low voltage ECG also? We have a rim of calcification around the heart, and this is usually seen in chronic condition as in tubercular pericarditis. What are the other causes of constrictive pericarditis? It may also be caused by uremia and SLE. And what do you see in an echocardiography in constrictive pericarditis? The pericardium is thickened in constrictive pericarditis and there is a dilated inferior vena cava in constrictive pericarditis. How is the diagnosis of cardiac tamponade made? Echocardiogram confirms the diagnosis and the treatment is pericardiocentesis. Right ventricular infarction may resemble cardiac tamponade. Third condition that produces the low voltage ECG is the restrictive cardiomyopathy. So what is restrictive cardiomyopathy? This is the condition where the walls are rigid and is stiff, but the rhythmicity and contractility of the heart may be normal. What are the conditions that cause restrictive cardiomyopathy? They are sarcoidosis, which is treated with the steroids, amyloid, hemichromatosis, and endocardial fibroelastosis, and Noonan syndrome. There is right heart failure in both constrictive pericarditis and restrictive cardiomyopathy, both of which have low amplitude QRS complexes. How about the EKG in restrictive cardiomyopathy. Apart from low voltage QRS complexes, it has non-specific STT wave abnormalities. Echocardiography, CT, MRI typically reveals symmetrically thick left ventricular walls and normal or slightly reduced ventricular volumes. Atria are usually dilated. Echocardiography shows diastolic dysfunction. Ventricular biopsy is normal in constrictive pericarditis. Right heart failure in both constrictive pericarditis and restrictive cardiomyopathy, both of which have low amplitude QRXs, 